can cheap prize figures be as good as expensive figures? Well, it of course depends on the figures, but one company is trying to make something cheap challenge something way above its price. And they're kinda succeeding. Prize figures, a tier of figures that haven't been known for quality, are changing. Normally, these figures are the cheapest kinds of figures out there, since they're won from crane games in Japan. But the market is changing, and now you get a lot of prize figures online. Meaning, they're now beginning to compete in the same space as mid-priced figures such as pop-up parade or even expensive scales. And because of their cheap price, they're usually the best introduction for people who want to start owning figures. But Taito, one of the biggest manufacturers for prize figures, is trying to change the image of prize figures from something that's just cheap to something of actual quality. And they're doing that by creating a series called Artist Masterpiece. This series is part of a larger trend that's elevating prize figures. With this brand, Taito is collaborating with well-known artists in the figure industry, artists who usually work on scales. The artists that work on these figures can be anybody, from illustrators, sculptors, or color producers. But despite all this, these figures are still kept at the same price range of typical prize figures. At the moment, most of Artist Masterpiece's figures have been of Hatsune Miku, because it's Miku. But they also have figures for other characters like Rem from ReZero, Mai from Bunny Girl Senpai, and recently Albedo from Overlord. Some of these figures have some crazy level of detail you might not even find in expensive figures. Like this Sakura Miku figure has a lantern that turns on. And just to compare an artist masterpiece figure to normal prize figures, here's a Sakura Miku figure with a similar concept also by Taito, but not from artist masterpiece. While the material used for these figures may be the same or similar, you can see a wide gap in design, and clearly one is a lot better than the other. And when it comes to bases, they blow stuff like Papa Parade out of the water. What's cool about all of this is that Artist Masterpiece isn't the only series of prize figures bringing this tier to the next level. It's just personally our favorite one. Sega has Luminasta, their own series of higher quality prize figures, and Fudu has Trio Try It, which is doing the same thing. Not really a fan of the name though. As for Bandai Spirits, we're not really sure which of their lines is equivalent to Artist Masterpiece. Maybe Glitter and Glamour? Ultimately, this is a very exciting time for figure collectors, especially those on a budget. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that cheaper figures are going to eventually overtake scales? Or do you think scales will keep on dominating the figure market? 